Welcome back to the Tropical Update. It's Friday, October 27th. I'm Tom, and I'll be guiding you through the graphics. We're going to be talking about that disturbed area of weather in the Caribbean Sea. They're uh, expecting it to start moving north and go over Cuba and eventually get into the area of South Florida. So we're going to be uh, keeping a close eye on that. Let's look at our guidance, and here is the newest one we have. And you can see they're expecting 93L to start moving north. And about the time it gets uh, near Cuba, they expect it to start turning northeast and go over the Keys and probably South Florida area it'll interact with. And also Nassau in the Bahamas uh, will be getting a lot of rain out of this. Uh, it's been a big rainmaker. It's sort of uh, interacting with that cold front uh, that has uh, went through. But uh, as it moves north, it will uh, produce a lot of rain. And uh, here is the uh, satellite photo of it. And you can uh, make out where it's at with the yellow X. And that's all going to be moving north over Cuba and eventually into South Florida. Uh, they're not giving it a very large uh, percentage for um, development. I uh, believe the last I seen was uh, either 50 or 40 percent in the next five days. But uh, here is our um, our guidance for development. This is from Florida State University. They're giving it a 97 percent chance the next 120 hours of development but understand that in 120 hours uh, it could be well um, out to sea past Florida so uh, that's very possible but in the next day or two it's not going to be developing now let's look at our guidance for um, this is our intensity model and uh, you can see that yeah when you get out there around 100 hours from now um, it very well could be a uh, tropical storm um, almost to uh, hurricane strength uh, further out. But uh, in the short term, the next 24 hours or so, uh, it'll be lucky to become a tropical storm. Now here is a forecast from Miami. Saturday, uh, there was an 80% chance of rain and a high of 81. Saturday night is a 90% chance of showers and rain, a low of 74. Sunday, they're looking at 60% chance, tapering down to 30%, and a high of 81. And then Monday is going to be uh, very nice with a high of 74 and a low of 66, which is uh, very nice weather for South Florida. Uh, our next forecast up, this is for Jackson, Tennessee. This is the west part of uh, Tennessee near Memphis. And this uh, is where my friend William lives. Um, Friday, they're looking at an 80% chance of rain and a uh, high of 58. Friday night is 80% uh, chance rain and a low of 32 right at freezing. Saturday, mostly sunny with a high of 52. Saturday night, partly cloudy and a low of 30. Uh, they're going to be below freezing on uh, Saturday night. So uh, when that front moves through, it's going to be some very cold air. And there is that front. You can see it there as it's uh, going to be moving through uh, West Tennessee on uh, today, Friday and make it get way over here to East Tennessee. And you can also see that area down uh, in Central America, and that's all going to be moving north over Cuba and into South Florida over the weekend. Well, thank you very much for tuning in tonight. Uh, we appreciate all the good comments. Uh, we appreciate all our subscribers. Uh, we have some of the best subscribers around. Um, we're going to be looking at that area as it starts to move north, and it will move north pretty quick once it gets going here, 93L. 
Uh, but there definitely is going to be a lot of rain for South Florida, the Keys, and the Bahamas over the weekend. Well, everyone have a great Friday and a great weekend coming up, and we will talk to you soon.